um, going from there, how do you, how do you see your work evolving? Like, is there a direction that you feel you're moving in? I mean, we all all of us that change a bit as we get older, I think. But I'm wondering how your experience as you go on in life, how that's what how that's going to affect what you do in your art. I, I've, I also noticed you're, you're, you're making comments on the website about the mess that we've made of our natural environment in many cases and, and you know, some perhaps some desire to communicate that. I'm not sure. Anyway, what would you say about the evolution of your work? Uh, uh, yeah, what you say is, uh, so I guess I would, uh, if my age away, if I said I've been painting for about 40 years or more, so I've been transitioning all through that time from doing figurative and yeah. portrait to wildlife for 10 years and yeah. a number of years painting florals and watercolor. And then I got into bigger work uh, on rural Ontario for six years. I called it Jewels of Rural Ontario. Yeah. And then for painting that subject matter because the rural to me is somewhat synonymous with wild spaces. There are places that have not been torn up and covered by concrete and industrial, you know, yeah. move forward with industry and population. And, and uh, I live in the country, and I love the city, but I can't live in a city. Yeah. Uh, I need fresh air, and I need sunshine, and I need plants, and sure. uh, we're losing that. Yeah. You know? And the other thing I want, uh, I want to share what we have that's left of it, that there are these pristine locations that haven't been tampered with, at least not visibly. Uh, and and it's interesting because when people say, well, why do you just paint landscapes? You don't have people, you don't you rarely have buildings. So this one here has a boat. Yeah. Uh, so I do, I do paint subject-oriented paintings, but some of these large works that I do, I don't want a building in. Yes. I just want it. It's all about freedom. Mm -hmm. People don't have enough freedom as it is. Yeah. You know, this world is getting smaller and smaller as the population gets bigger and bigger, and most of those people may never experience places like this either, that take some effort to get to, uh, and I feel blessed that I have the opportunities to get there and to experience them and paint them, but uh, I guess I would just say that paintings like that are an opportunity for people to sort of have a joyful experience and realize that the world is an incredible place and it's majestic and we yes. need to love it and respect it. That's so eloquent and it's so perfect for me. I just I Thank love you. all those ideas. I I like to do photography a lot of it, and I and I don't I practically never photograph uh, anything with human activity in it of any sort. It's all I like to just <laughs> honor the plants and the trees and the water and the clouds just the way they are. You know, just by capturing that moment. Of whatever it is they're up to at that point in time. <laughs> Isn't it true that we're surrounded by enough of progress yeah. that it's restful for the soul to oh, yes. experience a little bit more wild places and and yeah. uh, view them? And for me, fortunately, yeah. all create. They're they're so quiet. They've been there for so long. They're so still. It's just meditation all the time. The way I see it. <laughs> Very much, and I think we all need uh, that's, quiet. That's really true.